All right, everybody. We are out for a ride today out in Cochrane is what it's called. It's an old settlement out here. We're not going to make it down to Cochrane. We're going to go to the bridge. It's a train bridge, an old train bridge that goes over the Gila River and goes into a... Uh, a uh, uh, a mountain. Jeez, can't get can't get that in my head. So it has like a tunnel. It has like a bridge that goes over the river. Right after that bridge, there's a tunnel that goes through a mountain. We're gonna head to that today. And right before that, there's like a little settlement. I think it was to watch the bridge back in the day. It's been there for at least 30 years that I know of, and it should still be there. So we're gonna head out to that. Uh, yeah, let's get to the ride. Make sure the truck's locked. I think it is. Yep, it's locked. Let's hit the road. This is going to be a pretty long ride out here. You can see how people are up there on that mountain up there on the top of it, sides by sides. But this is a pretty long ride. I don't think I'll talk all of it like I did my last one. I'll just talk here and there, probably edit out a lot of this. Guy on a dirt bike right there. But uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. I was worried about getting caught behind slow moving cars like this. It happens on this road a lot. He waved me on, that's a pretty nice guy. Yeah, see, when you're in a truck like this, man, I didn't want to talk a lot, but now I'm talking. You can't go very fast. They have to do like maybe 15 miles an hour. I mean, we can get up to 40, 30 on a quad, and we just go over these bumps really easy. So, so anyhow, back to the trail. All right, guys, sorry, playing there with the camera, recording it. Now, this is the turn off from that main road. I also went and put my my Garmin on because I didn't want to be lost. I haven't been out here in a long time. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've been out here about a year ago, but then before that, it was like 13 years, 14 years. Well, 13 years because I brought my daughter out here when she was like a year old when we camped. That's the last time we came. But I'm going to leave you guys recording now for this track. It took me about 20 minutes to get to that point.
I'm hoping it don't take more than 20 minutes to get to the bridge. We'll see here. This is more of a windy road through here. More technical. The other road, this is like a two track. The other road was just a regular maintained road for like cars. I remember coming out here that long ago and this road, like this sand right here right now, this would have been really hard to get through and now it's it's really packed down. That's how many people are out here. My wife made some kind of comment about our state has rental issues because they say like 11,000 people are moving here a day from uh, uh, let's, let's go this way from uh, California. That's just crazy to me. That many people are coming from California a day to Arizona. 11,000 people because they're all wanting to get away from those those states I guess I don't want to get political but that's crazy to me I don't want my channel to ever be political I believe we have the right to have our differences that's what makes us the United States of America I can tell you my differences but I don't want to argue about it because I expect you to have different differences also and hey that's okay you know different beliefs that's okay that's that's fine you know but we need all still to come together and that we're all American and this is still the United States of America. Hopefully we can figure it out. We'll see. I want to come back out here one day and also do a video with my Yankum rope out here because I had someone tell me that, oh, you can just use your... Uh, your winch for everything. Well, this is so sandy here. If you get stuck out here in the middle, you better have a pretty long wrench winch to get to a tree. And this gets wider in some spots. And that yankum rope would just be so much better to yank you out than having to try to, you know, uh, winch yourself to a a tree. I don't know. I think it's just the best investment anybody can make. I honestly truly believe that. After seeing it, you guys need to go watch Matt's uh, off-road recovery channel and you'll totally understand because he uses winches too, but he'll tell you there's times when that rope is better than a winch. And people need to watch maybe that channel because he does it every day for a living. Anyways, that was off on a tangent. Let's keep riding here. See, I remember going up that road before. I don't know if that was it or not. Cause somewhere you make a right, I think. I don't think that early, though. It's too early to make a right. Way too early to make a right. Ooh, some whoopy doops right there. Uh, I'm doing like 28. I'm cruising through here pretty good. Got to be on the watch if someone's coming this way at you and is going to run into you. Always be looking way out in front if you can. And if you can't, slow down. Just like I did there. Gear down one. When you see that thicket in front of you, I can't see through that. You don't know someone's going to come flying through there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to come down this wash when there's flash flooding though because this goes right to the Gila River, feeds right into the Gila River. And these washes run out here, but oh, we have to get a good rain. The problem is you have to get rain in Arizona. There hasn't been any rain in Arizona. That's the problem. A lot of cow dumps, call them little landmines. I like these little whoop de whoops. They're fun. That's the only problem that you can get going through here having fun and forget someone can come up in front of you and smack you head on. Yeah, we know I know I'm right, because that road right there takes you up to the water. So we're we're real close here.
Yep, you can see the bridge off in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. See the top of the bridge up there. And I think there's a little settlement when we come up out of here. Yep, right there, there's a little rock house settlement. I know this is state trust land for the most part. I think that gate goes backwards, so I need to back up. I wish people wouldn't. You see that sign, how it's shot up? I don't know why people need to shoot the sign. It's like, why shoot this, guys? I know what someone's going to say because we don't have nothing else to shoot. <laughs> That's still not right. Oh, I'm in reverse. You guys see that bridge right there? It's usually greener out here. It's going to be green later. Some good mountain things. It's crazy to think that that river just goes right down through that mountain range and goes out that way. But uh, yeah. Latch back up the gate. It's a long chain they have on this gate. Just cruise over this little settlement right here. I mean, like I said, I've been coming here since I met my wife, so 25 years ago, is when I started coming here. And I've never ever been able to figure out I've researched it and figure out what this sorry take off my glasses I want to make sure the cameras working while I'm talking or before I keep talking I'm sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing yeah you guys are I think the camera's set up okay but uh sorry I need to put my glasses back on but I've never found out back to what I was saying I never found out what this house was all about, you know? Just a little house, looked like maybe a maybe a two bedroom house. I don't know. Look at the little bird right there. Can you guys see it? Right there. Up, oh, it's on top now. You guys see it right there on top? Little bee bird. It smells kind of like a skunk though, right here. I'm gonna move on. I don't need to get sprayed by a skunk. But yeah, I have no idea what that house is all about. I'm going to take some pictures of it real quick. I wonder if I can walk back up there without that bird getting scared. And take a picture of it. Just still sitting there. Yeah. I think I got it. Pretty cool. Got the bird. We're going to get right up onto that bridge though. So that will be pretty cool. I'm going to take a picture of that too just so you guys can see the bridge out in the distance. Yeah. These are all Instagram. You know what's nuts is right up there on top of that mountain up there. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. I wonder what the heck that is up there. I might just take a picture of that up there too. All right, too many pictures. Let's get down to the bridge. It's just a little track right there. At least I made it here quicker than I thought. That wasn't too bad. There's also things out here called the Coke ovens. I want to go to that too, but we're going to do that a different trip. Maybe I can bring more people back for that. Then we'll go back to the coke ovens. I think my nephew Gage, he hasn't been there since he was like six. Excuse me, he, since he's like six. I think he wants to go there. It's cool to see all the little grass, see all the green grass coming up now since we got all that rain. That's so cool. Finally. Oh, I didn't want to drive through mud though. That's a lot of mud right there. Let's see if we can creep around here on the left. I just like washed my bike. After that last ride, 
I know my nephew Gage would have drove right through that. So here's the bridge. You know, there's a way to go on top too. I just must have went around it. But since we're down here, let's creep down to the bottom. That's crazy. When we used to come here before, the water was literally right here. You couldn't ride. You'd have to stop like right here. Wow. It means the river is really low. But there's the bridge, all. In. There's the river down there. Oh, wow. It doesn't look like it's really flowing right now. I know the Gila River comes from the San Carlos. But wow. Yeah, there's nothing. It's not flowing. That's unbelievable. You could actually cross it if you wanted to. I just don't know where that road would go. I think that's how people are getting across to this side because it used to not go to that side, but now it does. Let's see if I can get over here. A lot of garbage over here. I should bring a garbage bag the next time I come out here and pick up all this garbage that people are leaving. But there's a better picture of the bridge. Wow. It's pretty cool looking. See, so over there is the tunnel. I don't know if you guys are seeing that on the on this camera. I should get my phone and film some because Yeah, I mean this camera so over there, you guys should be able to see the the hole that goes through it. That's a tunnel that goes through the mountain right there. And this train track, this train track is used, guys. It does get used. I back when we used to come, two trains ran a day, and I hear that people were trying to ride their UTVs and stuff across it, which was crazy because that never had happened before. It might have happened in the last decade or so because our state, or 15 years, I should say, because our state just got so full of people that they had to put spikes over here to keep people from going across it with their machines. It's like, are you nuts? If you get caught in that tunnel over there, man, a train is going to take you out. But, no, it's a an awesome sight to see out here in the middle of nowhere. It, uh, I think it looks really rusty like it needs a paint job. Maybe maybe they will one day. Let's walk up to the top. Why not? I'm going to shut this one off and then go to the other camera and you guys can I can talk on that one. All right, everybody, jumping off the quad for a minute. Took off my helmet, the camera. The camera's working out pretty good. See how I remounted it in the front? I did have it right here. So I'm hoping being in the front will make it better. We'll see. Get that out of the way. I want my hat. My bald head will burn. I packed my hat right here. Get my hat on. Still can't believe that river's not running. That just... We're such a drought right now. I've seen it, like I said, I've seen it higher. I've seen it all the way. Well, and you know what? It's just been higher. I don't. I guess I haven't seen it all the way. There's actually, ah, uh, you might not be able to. I can barely see it from here. So, uh, let's see. If I can point to the pool. that pool right there. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Oh, you can barely see. Like it looks like there's yellow on it. There's a marking on that. It, it from I can't remember what year, 80 something, where there was a flood in Arizona. And I remember it growing up as a kid where we got so much rain, and that's how high the Gila River was flowing. That's how high the water was. Isn't that insane to think that? That the water was as high as the tracks. So let's just walk down over here. Sorry, right, you guys probably go, oh, I can wear his helmet and talk, but it's just easier to do it with my phone. That's than to keep wearing that helmet because it gets hot to me. So I just changed to my phone and here we go. Yeah, I usually go, come up, a, you can actually drive to the tracks over there and drive to the tracks. You still can't ride on the tracks, they put barriers up and then I walk up, but this is closer. It actually tells you not to track, I used to not have these signs to keep off the, uh, see all those rocks and all that on the side, it used to not be there. 
but they used to not have this keep off tracks. They never used to be there, you know? So it's all, it's all says private property, but I'm gonna sneak out just because I want you guys to see that mark on the bridge and it's probably the last time I'm ever gonna walk out here to show you because you're not supposed to walk out here. So let's do it fast and get off. Cause like I said, I don't know when a train will come through. I can't remember the, t the, the times of a train certain times so yeah you can see the water down there there's the river I don't know if those take pictures or not I was trying to take pictures of it but yeah so there it is so high water mark 10 to 83 and that, that's been there since I've come out here 25 years ago. It's funny how that hasn't disappeared with all the rust and all that. Pretty cool though. All right, let's get off this because you don't want, like I said, there's that tunnel. You don't want to be there when a train comes. We, we, I'll admit, we used to walk through that tunnel. But we just, we used to come with like my wife's dad and uncle and they knew all the train times and we used to even, there used to be a, a they'd send out a truck on the tracks. They had like special tracks on a truck and they would come out and down at Cochrane, that's down over there, we'd stop and talk to them and they'd tell us, oh yeah, this is the time the trains are coming. And we'd come up here and walk through like I'm walking now and not hurt nothing. We even have a picture back in the old days with all of us up here and a picture of us from down there up to here. and. There was no big deal about coming on this bridge. What happened was all these people came and they tried to drive their machines through it. It's like, don't drive your machine. You, you know, even if a train came through and you got off to the side, like you got off to the side over here, at least the train's not going to hit you. You got a machine on it. You're that's it. See, here's the spikes I'm talking about. They put these spikes to try to keep people from driving on it which looks like people have broken them off or banged them off with a hammer. Cause it, it's just like, man, come on. Common sense, look, more garbage. I need to bring a bag out here and pick up this garbage. I know we're gonna come back out with my nephew and I'll probably just do that, come clean up the garbage. But yeah, now they have like tons of signs saying private property, no trespassing, you know, but yeah, you just don't take a machine on there. Are you crazy? Anyways. That's it. Like I said, I, I've, that's why I went on and got off. I'm not going to stand up there and play on it because you're not supposed to because the train could come through. I just wanted to get that. Show you that little picture of it. That'll be the, probably the, the last time I ever get that opportunity to get that picture. We don't, nobody has a picture of that, that mark either that I can remember. So I'm kind of glad I did that. But yeah. Actually, I hear something. Wouldn't that be crazy? The train's coming right now. Huh, could be. Cause I remember them saying, I think one used to go in the morning and one used to go at night. Anyways. I'm not up there anymore. Thank goodness. It's almost like you can like hear like vibration. If it is, it's moving really slow. Yep. I hear it. Oh, wow, what timing, huh? You guys hear that? Heck, I think I'm gonna get my tripod out. Cause I need to use, I need to empty the tank. Get my tripod out, we'll wait here for the train. 
so we can see it go by. That'd be cool. But I'll set up the tripod so the, the phone can stay here and keep recording. If I can find the right end. There it is. Wow, that's pretty cool. Here, guys, I'm just setting you down there for a minute. Wow, I'm glad. See, that just goes to show you why you shouldn't be on the bridge. Here he comes. Oh, it's not a bridge, it's just a... Uh... Oh, it's not, it's not like a big train. That's like, they say it's just used for mining. It's like mine carts. So it's like a little train car, unless the train's pushing it. No, the train's pushing it. That's awesome. So the train's pushing it. They're mine carts. Copper Basin Railway. Pretty cool. Man, what's what's the timing for that? I mean, geez, I come here, I walk up to the bridge, but get darn lucky that I got off of it. But once again, like I said, you could hear it. You can hear you could hear that the vibration of the train coming. Because you imagine if you had a side by side or a quad up there, there's no way you'd get out of the way in time. So, come on guys, don't take one up there. Well, they have signs. So, hopefully no one's doing that anymore. But anyhow, I'm going to hit pause here and then get on the trail again. You can still hear the train off in the distance and it's far away. But I'm going to hit pause, use the restroom and get going back down the trail and maybe stop up there for... I, I didn't bring any lunch to make it. So, I'm just going to eat some snack food. But, yeah, talk to you guys in a sec. Hey everybody, uh, it's still me, man. I, I'm still here at the the bridge. Let's spin you around. Maybe you can get the the bridge in the background. But I just wanted to talk real quick about uh, some stickers I got. I said I was gonna do a review. I haven't ate my lunch yet. Just I, I just wanted to add this real quick before I left here and ate my lunch and uh, headed back. Hopefully, you guys make it as far in the video. But I think. I wanted to, I, I ordered 50 stickers. I got 50 stickers coming. They're, they're uh, let me see here. So this size sticker that you see here, they're smaller than that. They're they're like maybe a third of that. They're, they're hydro flask kind of stickers, you know, but you can still put them on your quad or on your helmet or whatever you want. But I got 50 of them. I said at 750 subscribers, I do a giveaway. And hey, I'm still gonna do a giveaway, I think. And I'll kind of give you my quick plan on it. I'm going to give away, you know, uh, a hat for sure. And I still probably will give away some stickers at 750. Uh, but how I'm going to do that is going to help with this. And and then at 1,000, I've already been talking. And I think I might be giving away. I don't want to promise, but I'm getting close. I might be giving away a Yankum rope. And then some more hats at 1,000 subs. So I can't wait when I get to 1,000. I'm guesstimating 10 more months. We'll see. But uh, anyways, back to right now. So if you guys go, I'm willing to do this. I thought this would be nice to do, especially all you guys that are subscribed already. If you, I mean, I wish you could go out and maybe tell a friend and get them to subscribe. That'd be awesome. You know, I, I always ask tons of people, just ask somebody, you know, ask somebody at work, hey, do you mind subscribing to Arizona? Cause that'd be great. But for all you that are subscribed, if you want to go over to my uh, Instagram, and even if you're a new subscriber, I also do it for you too. I don't want you to think that, it's whoever subscribed to me and hears this video you can do this i don't care who it is and if i run out at 50 i'll, I'll probably get another 50 then i'll see how this goes and see if i end up having that many uh people do it but if you go to my instagram and follow me on instagram uh and to go to the message so it's private and leave me your address i will send you a free sticker no questions asked and i'll put here across my instagram it's arizona kid atv just go to that 
follow me. Uh, I'll follow back, and then we'll. Uh, you can leave a message, and it'll just be your address. So now, what happens then? Now that I got your address and who you are on Instagram, that's how I'm going to do everything now. Well, this time I'll send you a free sticker, no matter what. But then when I get to 750 subscribers, so this makes sense to you guys. Now it's worth you doing this because when I get to 750 subscribers, I'm going to warn everybody first. So they can have another chance to go to Instagram and leave me their address. But I'm going to take all your guys' Instagram names and addresses, put them in a hat, and then I'm going to have my daughter or my son or somebody I know pick them out of the hat. And that's how you're going to, who's going to win the hat. And then I already have your address and I just mail it to you. And I'll go do a video and let you guys know, hey, so-and-so won the hat, so-and-so won their stickers. And then when I get to a thousand subs... I'll do the same thing. Hey, I'm gonna, I'll use all the old ones that already gave me their address and their names. I'll still use them. I'm not going to say you have to re-send me your address. I'll still use your addresses. So I'll say those. And anybody that added new will add it to a hat. And I might take the ones that were before 750 and then the ones that were after, you know, and, and make sure we're trying to get it a little even, you know, so everybody's getting a fair chance at winning something. But But we'll see. You know, we'll see how that works out. I, I want it to be kind of fair and everybody try to get something. That's why I'm doing right now. If you just do it to start right now, you're going to get a free sticker no matter what. So at least now to 750 and I might even do it after that. I don't know yet, but at least start with that because I don't know how many people are going to do this. And I, I don't got a money tree in the backyard. Boo, no money tree. No. So I don't want to get too ridiculous and promising this. But for right now, I want to at least let everybody know I got 50 stickers to give away. So the first 50 people to give me their address and to follow me on Instagram, I'll send you a free sticker. And like I said, if I end up getting a lot more than 50, I might consider ordering another 50. And then I might have to stop for a while because, like I said, I, I'll break the bank. I'll have to stop for a while. But uh, but then if I tell you I'm stopping, I'll, I'll, I'll say something on a video or... or or uh, I'll do some kind of posting on Instagram saying, hey, you can still send me your, your, your stuff for the drawing on 750 and 1,000 followers. So I at least have it, but I, I ran out of the free sticker part. But for right now, let's 50 for sure. So first 50, and, and I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'm good about that. It's, it's, it, I'll let you know on Instagram, especially if you start following me, then I'll let you know that I ran out. I'll put a post on there that, hey, I ran out of sticker for now. But I... I think I'm getting overexcited thinking I'm going to get 50 followers that are going to, so I don't think that's going to happen. If I do, then like I said, I'll, I'll, I might order another 50 and be like, oh no, I'm sorry. But uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. Anyhow, like I said before, that's, that's the plan. So please go follow me on Instagram, leave me your address, because then that'll start the whole thing for the giveaway at 750 at 1,000 also. And then uh, I'll give all you guys a free sticker up to 50 people for now, maybe 100. We'll see how many do it. And uh, yeah, let me get get uh, on out of this trail and uh i'm kind of excited i got to see that train weren't you guys that's pretty cool huh it's that train that went by it's pretty cool that went, i mean it's more comical that i was up there and i got down and but you know your brain common sense i i could hear it off in the distance you could hear it coming so yeah anyways the best thing is just don't go on that bridge i'll admit everybody don't go on the bridge i did a no no all you kids, don't go on the bridge. Like I said, the only reason I did it is because I know that it had that mark up there. But from right here, if you look, right here, you can see it. You just kind of got to walk over and you can still see it without getting on that bridge. I just wanted a picture of it. Am I a bad person? Maybe a little bit. So, yeah, follow rules, guys. I usually do. Good thing I put this as video isn't made for kids, right? Eesh. All right. No hating, please. Sorry I did that. Won't do it again. All right. So, anyways, I'm going to get going keep saying that and i keep talking i talk too much all right see you guys in a minute just kidding bye guys all righty Got hit by some trees there. 
to make sure this is still going. Yeah, I think so. Sorry guys, I keep playing with this camera. I'm just trying to get used to it in front of me and making sure it's it's a hill we're climbing, making sure it's you guys are seeing everything that I'm seeing. Well, I know I got done there just talking about the whole uh, wanting to give away stickers. I hope that all makes sense to you guys to go to my Instagram and I'll give away at least 50 and maybe up to 100. And then I'll have all your information for a drawing when I hit 750 and 1,000 subscribers. I hope that all makes sense. If anybody wants to ask, just ask me in the in the comments what's going on. And I'll try to explain better if this ain't making any sense to you. I just saw another gal do it that way, but she actually did it. I don't want to say her name. I don't got permission. But she actually did it where she went and got a P.O. box. And then had everybody send her a letter. And then she had your addresses that way. And I could do that too, but I'm trying to make it where you guys don't have to spend any money. And instead of me having to pay to get a P.O. box, which I'm sure I will later, this way... I can use that money on the extra stickers instead of having to use it on a, a monthly fee for a, a P.O. box. So, and then it's also easier for you guys. You don't have to go spend money on a stamp. You just go to Instagram. I know a couple of people, like I know a guy in Mesa here, he wanted to know where I go ride, and I was going to give him all the locations, but he doesn't have an Instagram, but I'm like, it's free. <laughs> Just like YouTube. YouTube's free. Instagram's free. You know, you just go make an Instagram account. But I'm hoping he figures it out. He said he was 70-something years old, so I think it's more with him uh, an age thing than a uh, uh, thinking he had to pay something. But I'm waiting. He said he was going to do it. I know there's a road here to the right somewhere. Did I already pass? There it is. I mean... I'm kind of early. I was going to... Well, we already got to see the river. I was going to show you how that goes around to like a, like another little river area and crosses it. We've been over there before. You know, I'll leave that for another ride because then it gives you guys something more to see and me, instead of me showing you everything on one trip. But yeah, it's, it's way up that way. I don't want to, like I said, you burn all the time. I wonder... If, I've never seen this little trail right here. I wonder if that one goes to it also. So many new trails. Gonna have to come back and explore them all. Don't got the time today, guys. It takes so long to get out here. I have to get back because I have to pick up the little ones on the way back. I should have put my my rear camera on. Uh, yeah, my phone's. I don't know if you guys see that that Yankum sticker right there. It came off the box. I can't have any stickers stay on the box. They come off the box. So I had a... It stayed sticky, thank goodness. And I stuck it there. Now it won't come off. So th that... My Cabela's box is, is porous. Is the word I want to use. Because all my stickers were coming off. And I had to, like, move them. Like, like, and put them in different spots. And thank goodness they restuck. For the most part, they did. But, uh, yeah. But that turned out like a pretty good little trip there. I still can't believe we saw the train. That's so awesome. It's not like a little kid. I got to see the train. The train. I mean, I don't know. I don't care how old you are. I think it's a, I don't know. I should say it's a guy thing. I'm sure women like it too, but. Man, that this to see that train is just fun, and it was just a little baby train. But you could tell those those front uh, uh, things that was pushing there. They were ore containers. They they hold ore, so that's that's kind of cool. I can't remember. They used to tell us what they were hauling, but yeah. So anyhow, guys. So let me do a recap here real quick. So we just saw the bridge. We'll go back over here and show you guys the that like I said where we just were there's a cool like beach area that has like this cool cliffs like these solid wall cliffs 
we'll go to that one day. I got to take you guys to the Coke ovens. The Coke ovens are on these same trailheads out here. Uh, and then there's the old settlement that this road is actually named as Cochran. I'll show you that. And then there's another cool area that I have old pictures of that is actually, it's it's got like, I don't know how you, it's like canopies, like canopies of trees. And I, hopefully if we come back this weekend, it'd be the perfect time because all this green grass showing up everywhere from the rain, that place is going to be super green and pretty. But it looks like canopies over the top. And you walk down the middle of the road and you just got all these trees over the top of you. It's so like like a canopy, like a complete, like it looks like a tunnel of trees. It's so pretty back in there. I'll take you guys to that and show you that. So I don't know if I'll do all of them on the next ride or if I'll break them up into two or three different rides. But yeah, especially those Coke ovens. You're going Coke ovens. What's a Coke oven? They actually look like these rounded What's those one candies? You know what I'm talking about? Those one little bitty candies that look like they look like a like a thimble, like a sewing thimble. That's what those Coke ovens look like. They look like giant rock thimbles. And somebody actually destroyed one, which is kind of upsetting. But I think there's four of them. And they, they think these used to be kilns to make coal back in the day for the train. But nobody knows for sure. But they're, they're up there on the mountain. They're pretty neat looking. They're pretty big, actually. Uh... I'd say at least 20 feet tall, maybe more, each of them is. They're big. They look like kind of like you think like a, like a pyramid, but they're not pyramid because they're rounded and they're hollow in the middle. We rode to them one time when the river was dry, but the only way to get to them is from the backside, and they're actually on private property, so now when that people destroyed that one because they tore down the top of one, they uh, closed it off, so now you can only uh, see it from a distance because uh, a few bad apples ruined it for the rest of us. Is anybody surprised? No, I'm not either. I'm not surprised either. What's that one song? Anybody ever watch the... I'm probably dating myself. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. It's a vampire movie with Corey Ham and Corey Fieldman are in it. Can't think of the other guy. Lost Boys. There it is. The Lost Boys. And it has that song at the beginning. When you're strange, dun dun dun. I mean, I totally... Yes, that song can go for many humans on the planet. <laughs> when you're strange. <laughs> Even for me, I guess. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Yeah, I am. I'm the perfect man on the planet. No, I'm not perfect. we all got a little bit of strangeness in us. Wow. I must have been cruising through here. I feel like it's taking longer this time to get back. Or it might be close. Oh gosh, I remember being, like I said, we were kids. And my wife's cousin, Steve, he's a firefighter now. But he, he was always ride dirt bike and we were coming through here. And I remember just stopping on one of these. There's just a snake, big old rattlesnake crossing it. I remember that. Memories on the corner of my mind. But, yeah, I'm hoping it's still cool enough that you wouldn't really see a rattlesnake out here right now. I wouldn't guarantee it, but I'd give it maybe, hmm, I'd give it an 80% that there would not be a rattlesnake out right now, but not 100%. Oh, we're back to the road. Sweet. So, yeah, so you take a left right here and go that way. It'll take you to to Cochrane and the Coke ovens. We'll definitely come back. Like I said, I don't have the time to do that today. I gotta get back to pick up the little ones. This is another trail to do that on. I 
I don't know how much of this ride you guys just want to watch me ride it on, but I'll do a little bit of it. I was trying to make my video not, uh, I think I, it was an hour long last time. It was a long video last time. There's a windmill. Still some pretty mountains out that way. That one looks like a giant's ramp. Woof. <laughs> but that wash that's out there, I didn't get to show you guys, that wash that, that goes the other side, I should take you guys to that. Oh, here comes the side by side. Oh, more than one side by side. We'll let them go by. Let them cruise on by. Huh, I loved it that they had their doggies with them. Loved it. I like people like that. You see them, they weren't even, I bet you they were cruising like 18 miles an hour, if that. You know, they're just out to have a good time. They're not out here to fly around and run into people and kill people. I've, I've, I've heard out here since I used to come that there's been some bad accidents out here. And uh, I always get scared about coming out here. That's why I picked a weekday to come. Because usually during the week, it's not the young bucks, it's the older generation that are retired from work and they're out here and uh, you got a better chance of running into somebody that isn't going to be riding like a crazy man or a crazy lady or whatever you want to call yourself, you know, but, but yeah, beautiful day though, beautiful day. I think I'm going to stop up here guys and I'm going to sign off and I'm going to ride it out and then I'll talk to you guys when I, uh, you know what, I'm talk to you guys on the other side, I don't know why I should do that, uh, I could just, I could just ride and I've never rode and just kept talking and finished my ride just riding, let's try that for something different, huh, so, yeah, so everybody don't forget again, uh, Please uh, consider subscribing. So I, I, I want to keep making these videos. This is my hobby to do it. You know, uh, I don't have any like everybody always says you can donate money to this. I don't. I don't want a donation of money. You know, I, I want to be able to make YouTube pay for it. You know, you guys just sub to me and uh, just keep watching and just keep helping me get subscribers and as long as that's going up I'll use the money I get from it to buy stuff like stickers like hats and do giveaways you know that's I'd rather do that than you know and I, I ain't slamming anybody else that wants to do their thing and do merchandise because I, I like to buy merchandise too I, I buy hats from people I buy shirts from other people and hey, that's how they, they want it to be a, an enterprise to make money. And I guess everybody's kind of probably in for it for the money. I ain't going to say I won't hate the money. I, but I'd like to, to give back a little bit. Because you guys are the ones that are making it where I get subscribers to make money. So I'd rather not have you have to buy stickers from me or have to buy a hat from me. I'd like to just do giveaways for you guys. You know, just watch my videos and like I said, help me get subscribers and keep subscribing and I'll try to repay you guys back for doing that. That's what I'm going to try to do with this. That's why I said go to my Instagram. Uh, I'll put it again right here. You know, Arizona Kid ATV and just follow me on Instagram and I, I'll, I'll have to follow back. So that's, that'll be nice. You guys will get a follower back because I'll have to follow back so you can leave me your address in, the, in my, my comments so it's private. So I don't want every the whole world to know your address. 
and then I'll send you a free sticker. You know? And we'll do that. And then and then I don't know, who knows down the road if I have free stickers, I haven't tell people, you know, I have more free stickers. If you're already sent me your address, just send me another message and let me know you'd like me to send you one, you know? We'll do stuff like that. You know, or hey, I got 10 hats to give away, you know, and this, this has to be after I get to a thousand so I have money to buy more hats, but I'll say, hey, I have like five or 10 hats to give away. If, you, if you're if you reading this Instagram post or this, or watching my videos on YouTube, I'll tell you, and then you just go there and leave me a thing, you know, and, and I'll, whoever the first 10 people are, I'll send them a hat, but... But I don't want anybody to get confused with me rambling on. All I have right now is 50 stickers to give away for free. I might double it to 100. I don't know yet. But at least now, it's just 50 stickers to give away for free. And then I'm going to do more stuff when I get to 750 subscribers. But since I made it to 600 and everybody's just being so nice to me, I want to give something back right now that I, I have the money to give it back. So I have 50 stickers to give away. And uh, also, you know... Yeah, this this is stick with that for now. So, once again, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Go follow me so you can get that free sticker on Instagram. And uh, keep the powder dry as always. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on the trail. Arizona Kid is signing off and out.